PolPolitikin.com. Welcome back to PolPolitikin.com, your home for self-help meets hip-hop. Make sure you go on Spotify, Apple Music, iHeartRadio, listen to all our podcasts for the last 10 years. One, two, one, two, I'm in the place to be with the good people. How y'all living? Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. And then it's the, the Saint and MC? Yes. All right, cool. So I want y'all to just uh, start with your background. Let us know how you got involved with music. Oh, that's a broad answer, bro. Yeah, I'm fine, guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, you go ahead, you, you go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I started getting into music. Um, I'm in my late 30s now. I've been rhyming since I was, you know, 12 years old. Making beats since I was 17. Uh, put out my first record out in 2003, which was a remix with Jay Live and Wordsworth on the Seven Heads record label. I uh, put on my first album in 2004 called Long Folk Music, and uh, The Good People's first album came out in 2006. Yeah. Uh, as far as me, um, I started rhyming, no, I started DJing in 86, but I started rhyming seriously in about 89. Um, I all all back caught the hip-hop bug in 82 when I first heard Planet Rock. It just did something to me, and it's been it's been with me ever since. I mean, I'm, I I am music, you know. Um, everything I do is about music, and uh, that's pretty much it. I'm still doing it. I think that's been exhibited on this um this most recent Good People album. Now, what you were saying, you am music. So, what do you love about music? Everything. I mean, um, but my thing is like, because even as a, as a as a DJ, I, I'm a I think I like to, I like to call myself an educator entertainment DJ. I educate and entertain at the same time, and I think more DJs need to be like that, rather than just playing the same stuff that every every other DJ plays because they want to be popular. I mean, that stuff is great, and there's a time and a place for that, but I think uh, there's so much music in the world that needs to be introduced or just needs, um, it just needs an avenue to be heard. And I think if more DJs took initiative to be tastemakers and play music that isn't necessarily known, but fits into the format of whatever else they're doing, I think there'd be, there could be a whole, a whole lot more balance. And I heard you saying uh, Good People formed in 2006, so how did y'all link up? Uh, I was working on a solo album uh, after uh, my stint with the record label at Seven Heads, and I was going to do half of the album, which to now have to fit. We were rhyming on it, and um, on the instrumental tracks that I had, I wanted to do you know, either instrumentation on it or have some like, cuts on it. Uh, I was a big fan of the Underground Radio Show, and you know, he was a DJ on there, I was a DJ at the time. And uh, I hit him up and asked him if he would come through and put some cuts down on his track. So he came through, he put down the cuts, uh, he said, you know, I rhyme too. I was like, oh, okay. And he's like, you know, I really want you to put some on the track, you know, so I was rhyming. So he, he spit on the track, and um, that song is called These Times on our first album and then we worked on another track after that and uh, I just basically trashed the whole solo idea and then we just moved forward with the, with the good people stuff and it's been four, what, four albums later <laughs> alright and then how would you describe y'all sound the good people sound hip hop soul um I don't like comparisons because I don't feel you know, a lot of people don't know how to handle that word comparison. So they hear you say you would sound like somebody and then that will stick. But if we have to compare ourselves to anybody, I would say I would throw it back to CL Smooth and Pete Rock. I would throw it back to Tribe Called Quest. There's, um, if you remember Tribe Called Quest, they had a lot of melodies in their, in their, um, their, um, creations. In addition to that knock, that hip hop knock, but there was also another element to it. I think in a lot of underground hip hop that is missing nowadays. I mean, you know, you have the the thug culture, and you know, everybody's running weight and, and, and shooting people, and you know, whatever. But as far as the music goes, I think we're returning to the soul, and because our album was one of the first to be released this year, um, and it set such a, a precedence as far as a different kind of sound than what everybody else is doing. Um, I think it's a great thing. So I would just to answer your question directly. It's hip hop soul. Mm-hmm. 
And then what are some of y'all current projects y'all working on right now? Um, well, I mean, we, we both kind of dabble in guest appearances on different people's stuff. Um, you know, a lot of collaborations overseas. Um, we've even got, yeah, we're, 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 we're currently working on a job with uh, the Tough Beatles. Right, so, uh, DJ Duo, uh, overseas, uh, I believe the Netherlands. Um, so we're, we're finishing up that project. Okay. And then what are some of y'all interests outside of music? Oh, repeat the question, I didn't hear that. Some of your interests outside of music, what y'all like to do? Oh, what we do outside of music? I mean, me, I just like having civilized, intelligent conversations with people that aren't totally stupid. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, but besides that, I mean, I'm a music guy. Like I said, I'm always listening to music. I'm always writing. I'm always, you know, I'm a DJ too, like I said. So I'm always listening to new music. I have two other radio shows that I do personally uh, on a weekly basis. So I'm, I stay immersed in music. And, and real things, real conversations. I don't really dabble too much in, you know, what what the latest topics are, or whatever. I kind of just stay away from all that. Stay focused on music. All right. Well, also, also into sports. Uh, we'll be, yeah, well, also, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll catch Mets fans. Mets fans. Uh, oh Knicks, man. Knicks, Knicks, Knicks fans, unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what y'all think about that trade? That KP well, trade. I, uh, you know what? I'll say this, man. I'm not impressed with anything the Knicks are doing right now. I do kind of like the new coach. Uh, the general manager's cool, but Dolan must go. Let me repeat that. James Dolan must go. Once Dolan goes, then we can start really becoming a credible franchise again as far as the Knicks are concerned. But the Mets, the Will Ponds must go. As far as that Knicks moves, um, I was I was pretty upset there at first, uh, but then seeing what it could possibly become, uh, putting up cap space, and you put the thing is you got to go out and get a Durant or somebody for this, and you know, right. get, that, get that top pick, which the Knicks never get. What y'all think about the uh, the Mellow era? That era, the, the Phil Mello Jackson, era. yeah, the Phil Phil Jackson Carmelo era. What y'all thought about that era? Who fault was it? <laughs> Who was the uh, blame? I mean, look, you're a liar. If you're a Knicks fan and they want Mellow to come over, <laughs> you know what he did. Every, you know, all excited. Blah blah blah. I mean, You know, y'all Giants fans, okay. too? Yes. So we well, got... You know what? I'll say that I am a Saints fan, but I'm not really checking the football for reasons you probably know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, number, yeah right. number seven. Number seven. Yeah, we stand with Cap. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's, just, let's just say number seven. Let's, just, let's, let's keep it civil. 
<laughs> look. So anybody that's just now hearing about you through this interview, why should they go check out your music? Uh, I think they should check out our music because number one, it's good for your soul. Number two, it's very useful. We, we still believe in lyrics that the everyday person can take with them and get something out of them. I mean, not, no disrespect to anybody else's lyrics, but, you know, a lot of the street stuff, it appeals to a certain crowd. And of course, you know, you're not appealing to everyday kind of um, honest working people who get up in the morning, go to work, they're listening to hip-hop in the cubicle, and they're listening to a bunch of street stuff. I mean, it doesn't really make sense. But <laughs> at the same time, if you have somebody else that's offering a different perspective on things, that you can actually relate to on a daily basis, I think that's the demographic that we're trying to reach, and it, it reaches a human, it's, it's a human connection. Uh, you know, a lot of the tracks on my album talk about, you know, talk about various things. We have a track called Mahalia, which is basically a really, really in-depth focused track on the times of now, like what's happening now. Then you have uh, Headphones, which is a fun track about something that we can all relate to, putting headphones on, whether you're at work, at the end of the day, going to work. You know what I'm saying? So there's concepts, and plus, we sequence our albums. So basically, a lot of people just like looking for the single nowadays instead of listening to the whole album. So we're making it so you listen to one song, and you leave it on play, you're probably going to be like, oh, damn, I like this song too. Oh, wow, I like this song too. So we're trying to introduce people back into the concept of albums. So, you know, our music is just, um, it's just, it's useful music, and it's, it's good hip hop with the melody, but it also still has that serious hip hop mind to it. And y'all say, who are some of y'all favorite soul artists? Go ahead, uh, say that. Oh, what is he say? Our favorite artist? Soul artists, y'all saying hip hop soul, so who are some of your favorite soul artists? Oh, hip hop soul, soul artists. Yeah, soul artists. Uh, who's doing it right now uh, you know what I can, I can I'll compare I can I would kind of compare our style to if you don't know who the foreign exchange is mm -hmm. yeah we uh, okay. yeah Fonte yeah Fonte and so you take Fonte you take you know Nicolet from the Netherlands you put them together and I think I mean I don't I don't sing like Fonte it's not you know Fonte he has a, a very unique way of getting singing into you know hip hop joints but um I think our, our music speaks to that that kind of demographic. Mm -hmm. And uh, we listened to last night and it reminded me, I don't know if you know Funky DL over uh, here in the UK. Um, he just came out of a recent album. Uh, yeah, and, and he, he has kind of, kind of like in the same lane we are. Okay. And then what would you like to say to your fans and supporters? Thank you very much. Um, I, I understand and any artist out there understands that when you create things, um, it's it's a crapshoot whether it's going to be accepted or not. And there are artists out there that create so much and never get hurt, or they never get the just due. This is our fourth album. We've been doing this since 2006. Our first album we released in Japan on a uh, label called Idiot Factory Gold Tracks Records. And, um, you know, it, 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 it did whatever over there, but it, you know, it didn't really make any noise. We put out another album, Long Time Coming, which is cool. But again, you know, it's great music, but it just never saw the light that I think it should have seen. Um, but here we are. I mean, you know, 2012, we put out another one called Gone for Good. That was a great album. But this, I think that this album, another, a couple of things. Number one, it was mastered differently than any of the other ones. And number two, we have special guests, a lot of special guests on this album that Saint was definitely heavily responsible for. Uh, Lost Professor, um, you know, um, Cool DJ Red Alert, Napoleon the Legends, um, Lost Professor, I still love Lost Professor, uh, Sadat X, uh, Lil Fame from MOP. Like, we enlisted all these people on this album, and I think that, along with the way we mastered the album, I think this, this makes our, this makes it good for nothing the best ever today for us. What's up? All right, man, what's up? What's up? I'll say real quick, real quick, with this time around, we're also definitely, we're kind of succumbing to what, what, what we have to do now is uh, use the internet to your advantage, uh, and we're, I think we're approaching the, the marketing part uh, a little more, yeah, smart this time around. Yeah. All right, I want to say thanks for coming through politics with me. 
Oh, no question, no question. Just want to make sure that people know uh, the album is called Good For Nothing by the good people. You can go uh, purchase it digitally at all music, um, digital retail outlets right now. If you're into the vinyl thing, it's being pressed on really high-grade vinyl. Uh, people can go to freshpressings.com to pre-order the vinyl, which will be available probably in the early or mid part of March. Um, our um, social media, uh, the Good People of New York is our fan, uh, Facebook page. You can hit me and um, Saint on Instagram. Saint's Instagram is uh, at Saint Good, Saint Good People. Mm-hmm. Uh, my, mine is at D-J-E-M-S-K-E-E. And um, for anybody who wants to catch up on our releases, they go to the Bandcamp page, the Good People. Bandcamp.com. We have a lot of our release of the first album, 2006, and a lot of other stuff. We got two banging Christmas songs up there. So if you're not familiar, I think you're going to be pleasantly, pleasantly surprised with what you see. And, for sure. and check out, we got the single right now, Headphones. Uh, we got the video out right now. So go on YouTube, type in the good people headphones. Check out the video. We got visuals for that. You know, tell us how you feel about that. But, uh, listen, you listen to the Cold Pot of Chicken. This is M. Ski from the Good People. Peace. Yo, what's going on? This is Tim from the Good People. We are cold politicking. Check out the album right now. Good for nothing. Peace. I guess we all have certain gripes in life. One of mine is the person with a loud, portable radio in a public place. At last, there might be a solution to the problem. And here it is. When you're tired after work and your brain is throbbing and you want to get away, does someone feel okay? Run away, I'm in your corner, relief is so instant. The present is erased and you're alone in a distant Word. time place where the mind has space to give chase to many colors and sounds that take shape. With a rhythm where you catch your groove and your composure now is not so smooth because you're open. But you keep it inside, I'm in your head, provide the vibe, you finally decide with no strings, just direct electric. Hey yo, I'm you and everything that's crazy and hectic I love to plug in and tune in and zone out And go my own route, similar to tripping a stone out But it's a natural thing from good music I help you to connect to your peace before you lose it Headphones Channeling your favorite songs I'm a different brand I come in different colors The ghetto blast the boombox is my distant brother I discovered I could make money By usage of ears And now Dre made my money Off me than his music career Now my booming is clear I used to be distorted City voices and noise is the reason you bought it Easily supported Quarter of an eighth inch I fell out of pocket And ain't seen my main sense I'm great friends with Sally But that might be a short plan I used to be exclusive With iPod and Walkman I've been called cans Plugs, buds, and monitors you could Judge my work for head bombs by the commoners. I knock for kilometers with levelless tech. Got you thinking of the good days, remembering when. Have fun. Get points if your choice with choice. The reason everybody survives the dark and provides a spark for a new star in the heart. Motivation for the work of the plate to make it okay and keeping all the anger and depression away. I'ma hang around your neck for the rest of the day. Just in case you got a joint, you're selecting a play. You want the high fidelity, what you expecting to pay? I got what you need in black or in red or in gray. Never put me away. A personal projector for your memories. I play your song and think about loved ones and enemies. Elevate your energy, I'm changing your mood. Once the new album drops, then we basically glue.
Thanks for listening to PopePolitikin.com, a self-help meets hip-hop brand. If you are an artist or business owner wanting to be featured on PopePolitikin.com, contact us at PopePolitikin at gmail.com. That's P-O-P-O-L-I-T-I-C-K-I-N at gmail.com. Or text 760-717-5803. If you're a listener that enjoys the show and wants to support, you can donate to popolitikin.com via paypal.com. Please send donations to popolitikin at gmail.com. Any amount will be helpful in continuing to create quality content and shows. As always, check out popolitikin.com for past episodes. Make sure you subscribe to Popolitikin on iTunes, YouTube, Podomatic, Stitcher Radio, and Google Play.